Hello everyone, this is Jennifer, your services librarian in Wuma Public Library. How are you guys today? Welcome to STEAM Lab. For today, I'm going to uh, present you all with Making Metamorphosis, the Life Cycle Butterfly in a Shoebox. So for the materials, you will uh, use very simple uh, materials that you can find at home. And this is a uh, very simple and fun project that can, you can try with your kids. And uh, I hope you guys have fun with that. So while I was talking, there was another screen next to me uh, showing you guys how to access to the databases through our homepage of Wuma Public Library homepage. There are great databases and great resources that you can use at home. And one of the databases I use for this session is called uh, World Amnac for Kids. So when you go in there, search under butterflies, there are, are some interesting video and uh, information about butterflies that you can learn with your kids. So I hope you guys explore these great resources and uh, you guys have fun with that. So for today's STEAM Lab, I'm going to cover, um, as I said, metamorphosis and also the concept of magnets and how it works. So uh, uh, I hope you guys continue to watch this video and uh, I hope you guys have fun with that. So when you're ready, I'm going to start. For materials, as you can see, you will need shoebox. Any shoebox will work in a decent size and uh, different types of uh, tapes and magazines and magnets, scissors, permanent marker, paper clip, and yeah, that's it. So as you can see, so these are very simple materials that you can find at home. And um, throughout this video, I'm going to uh, present a few steps of uh, the life cycle of a butterfly using these materials. So you will find out how you can make this. So uh, continue, continue to watch this video. And when you're ready, I'm going to start. So I found these two images from the magazine that I'm going to Put it in the box, attach it in the box like this. Okay, so I now I have to draw a leaf on a magazine right here. So I'm gonna use a good image of trees right here and using this uh, permanent marker and I'm gonna cut it out like this. So I'm gonna cut it out. So this will be the leaf right here to uh, make an egg on the leaf i'm just gonna roll this paper and this will be an egg like this so i'm gonna attach this in the box on the side right here let me see I'm just gonna fold a little bit and then I'm gonna take this on the top like this. Okay, so this shows the butterfly laying an egg on a leaf. And for this step, I'm gonna present the egg hatches and young one called larvae or caterpillar coming out of the egg so i uh, drew this cute caterpillar on a green uh, green paper they're out so i'm gonna uh, actually hang this caterpillar on a shoe box a little bit on the top and using a tape I'm going to hang it right here of yellow to make butterfly. So here's a butterfly that I made using a paper, using a um, page from a magazine. So I'm just gonna uh, attach the thread on the back like this. So I made this butterfly and attached this paper clip on it. 
So this thread, I tape it on the back and then use this paper clip and then wrap it around the thread right here and then tape it. As long as this metal is visible, you can use it with the magnet like this. So for this stage, I'm going to present a chrysalis. Once the caterpillar is big enough, it stops eating. It then forms a protective layer around itself. This stage is called chrysalis. In this stage, the caterpillar is now called pupa. The pupa remains motionless in the chrysalis. So in order to replicate this stage, I'm going to uh, use this round paper and then attach this thread and hang it in the shoebox. So I made this a uh, protective layer using an image from the magazine. So now I will show you how this works. So I'm going to present Chrysalis using these materials. Okay, so when you put your butterfly in here, using the magnets, and then move to the side. So now a full-grown full butterfly is out from that protective layer. So as you can see, this uh, refrigerator magnet that I used moves back and forth while the butterfly also moves back and forth. This is because of this metal and magnets. So magnets attract this metal and it allows those butterflies to move around. So this is uh, the life cycle butterfly in a shoe box. So from here, goes like this. I hope you guys had, um, you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.